Hey friends, welcome to the channel. Today in this video we're going to solve the final problem of week 7 of CS50. So to see the requirements, the very first thing that we do is we come to this website, CS50, Harvard, DDU, X25. If you're watching this video in 26, make sure to change the year. Once you're here, on the left, go to week 7, go towards the bottom, problem set 7 and 50 will. That is the problem that we're going to solve in this video. And now, to understand what we are supposed to do, just go down and watch this video. This video is super super helpful, okay? If you watch the entire video, you will know exactly what to do. But once you have understood what is to be done, what we do is on the left, there's Visual Studio Code. Control click or command click on that. That will open a new page, log in with your GitHub account. And then you will see this screen. We have already created the folders previously, right? We did the movies and the songs problem of week seven. And in this particular, video we are going to do 50 will right so uh, when you are here on the requirements space come down slightly and you will see download the distribution code expand that and then what you will see is as you come down this is the page i mean this is the link that we need to copy from here the command that we need to copy come here and then navigate to week 7 so say cd week 7 to move into this folder and if i do ls now it will so we have two folders as of now movies and songs so here i will paste the command and that will bring us a zip file right so the very first thing now is we will unzip this zip file so i'll say unzip hold on i'll say unzip and then fi and i'll press tab that will fill up whatever suggested what is there i'll press enter and that should create a folder over here we have that now now let's get rid of this uh, 50 will.zip file so i'll say rm fif 50 will.zip press enter are you sure yes i am and there we go now let's navigate into the 50 will folder so i'll say cd 50 will press enter ls okay these are the files that we have basically we are given a database which is called 50 will.db then we have a file called answers.txt where we are going to write the answers and then there is a file called log.sql right where we are supposed to keep track of all the commands that we run so the goal basically is to figure out who the thief is like the classic duck the cs50 duck has been stolen and we have to figure out who the thief is and also we have to figure out where the thief escaped to and then who his or her accomplice was right so that is our assignment for this problem and the way we are going to figure that out is by, of course, watching the video that is given here. But basically what you will see is we are given a database which we are going to utilize. So to see what is in there, we will copy this command, skli 350 willdb I'll clear the screen or I could just say clear, press enter. And if I press this command, make sure you are in the right place. Then you will see SQLite is executed, right? We are inside this database. So if you want to see the schema of the entire database, we'd say, let me zoom in slightly so that you can see everything properly. Let me expand this. And now what I can do is I can say dot ma. And as you'll see, there are multiple tables in this database. All of those, like all of them have different values. And we are going to utilize these values to figure out who the thief is, right? What I wanted to do for this video is slightly different that what, than what we usually do. Since this is a pretty big problem, what I wanted to do is kind of help you speed through it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter all the commands here and then I'm going to walk you through everything and then I'll give you the answers. Sounds good? <laughs> Definitely does, I think. Anywho, what you will do is, what we will do is, let me write all the commands. So I'll say, and this is our command. We have everything here, everything that we need for now. And this will help us figure out who the thief is. So in the very beginning, these are the lines of code that we are going to execute. If I clear the terminal here, and if I were to press this command, the first two lines, I have separated all the commands with one line space, right? So that will help you figure out where you should stop when you're copying the command to run. So what you will see is when we do execute this command that we're given, we will get, we will get two descriptions right to crime scene reports one is related to our problem and the other one is related to some other 
crime which we do not care about so what we do know now is the theft occurred at 10 15 a.m at this street interviews blah 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 like we have more details right so what we will do now is we can basically like execute the other command which you don't really need to but anyhow if you press enter you will get more information about what happened uh, 10 minutes of the theft blah 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 like everything else but basically what you will need to do is you will need to enter all of these commands in your log.sql file right and i'll just walk you as in i'll just scroll through it you can pause the video and copy the commands and put it in your own file so this is the first command this is the second command similarly the third you can pause the video to copy the commands this is the fourth this entire thing this is the fifth this is the sixth this is the seventh this is the eighth and finally this is the last command once you will execute these uh, commands you will be able to like figure out who seems most likely and then what you will have here is the thief is a guy called bruce he escaped to new york city by using the airport id airport id 4 and his accomplice is what was his name robin and once you have these once you have all the commands and this what we can do now is we can go down and we can check whether or not our program is correct so i'll copy this i'll clear this oh first we'll need to exit the sql light so we'll say dot exit press enter and now we are back in our directory i'll clear the screen and then i'll paste the command to check whether or not our program is correct and there we go we have been able to solve the mystery we have all the queries and we have the answers excellent now to submit the command to submit the program we'll copy this command we'll come here press enter and then it will ask whether or not we are safe to submit the program keeping in mind harvard's academic honesty policy i'll say yes i am press enter now to see the score that we get we will command click or control click on the link and click on open and then we'll give it a second to load again and as you can see check 50 give us 3 upon 3 which is the full point for 50 will so this is how you solve 50 will so this is how you solve the 50 will problem of week 7 of cs50 if you want the solutions for all the upcoming problem sets make sure to click on the playlist that is currently being displayed on the screen i will see you in those videos until then take care